Controversy. One thing's for sure, I wouldn't want to be in Clement and the board's shoes. I've got some news to share with you today. So, let's cut to the chase. Andy Halliday, who's always ready to stir up a discussion, has raised a point about letting one of our idols go. Andy's been pondering whether it's the right move, especially with our recent shift towards long-term investments and all that jazz under the watchful eye of Nils Coppen. Now, Andy's not one to shy away from the tough questions, is he? Clement says he wants Lundstrom for longer, deeming him a key player, and has offered him a new contract. Andy said, I don't think it changes whether he gets a contract or not, I think it could change the terms of the contract. I'm only speculating, but I would think he would be in the top five highest earners within the club. Philippe Clement and Rangers are talking about these sellable assets within the club, and I think John Lundstrom is probably in that bracket where he is no longer going to be a saleable asset. If he signs a two three year contract at Rangers then he is bridging into 32 to 33 and will be past the years where they are going to sell him for millions of pounds. I think one thing must be said, he has shown this year that he is more than deserving of a new contract. He's been the glue holding us together, especially during these rocky times with injuries left, right, and center. It's no wonder the club's eager to tie him down for the long haul, isn't it? Sure, Andy's got a point about our new recruitment strategy, but sometimes you've got to make exceptions for players like Lundstrom, who bring that extra bit of magic to the pitch, don't you think? So, my fellow Ranger, while we navigate this new era at Ibrox, let's remember to keep the faith and support the decisions that propel us forward. And hey, if you haven't already, hit that like button and subscribe for more exclusive updates straight from the heart of our beloved club. Until next time, stay true, stay blue.